Hello guys, this is JNM with a new Blender video and today I want to have a look at the new EV real-time rendering, especially on the PBR shader, the metallic material output. For this feature you need Blender 2.8, which you can see here, and I have this tire model from my friend Maxons, I added the link to the description of the video. To download Blender 2.8, move to Blender Org Download and scroll down to the bleeding edge and go grab your daily build. And from this section select the download for your operating system. I am using Windows 64-bit. Ok, after you downloaded Blender and started it, you can switch from Blender Render to the EV rendering engine. Ok, and when I grab my point light now and move it around in the scene, you can already see how the shadows are applied in the viewport in real time. So that's really great and fun, but now let me show you how to apply PBR textures like roughness, metalness, base color, normal maps to this UV unwrapped model. So like you would do in Blender Cycles, open a node editor. So this model has five sub parts. I select the tire model, this is the outer model here. Then I choose use nodes in the node editor. And now I'm going to add a metallic material output. Alright, great. And now I will add texture coordinates, a texture coordinates node, and all the textures that I want to add here for the base color, the metallic slot, roughness, normals, and ambient occlusion. Okay, here are my texture coordinates. The model is UV unwrapped, here you can see it in edit mode. And now let's add the image textures. First the base color. I select here the base color for the tire. Here it is. Then I connect the UVs and the base color. Wow already applied. Look at this. Really nice. Okay, now let's add all the other textures. And start with the metallic. I duplicate this node here with Shift D. Then I set it to non-color data and select my tire metallic. Again connect the texture coordinates UV and the color to the metallic slot. Now again duplicate, it already has the non-color data set correctly. And for this one I'm going to add the roughness map. Yeah, really nice. You can already see the roughness in the viewport. I really like this. Okay, let's continue with the normals. The normal map. Again, duplicate. Non-color data is correct. Select the tire normals. Connect it to the UV and for the normals we need a normal map node. Then I connect the color and leave it as tangent space. Really cool, we're almost done. The last node I'm going to add is the ambient occlusion. Alright, and then connect the color to the ambient occlusion pin. And that's it for assigning the textures to the metal material output. And I did the same for the submodels of the tire. I will just enable the use nodes now for these submodels.
Okay, we're done with all the materials. And really nice how the light affects them when I move it around in the viewport. What I also want to show you is the post-process effects like the bloom that they added here. I enabled the bloom, look at this glowing, nice glowing effect. You can also set the, the threshold, the knee and the radius. awesome effect. Well, to sum it up, I really think that the development of the EV real-time engine is a big step into the right direction of supporting physically based rendering standards and high-end graphics with a responsive real-time rendering viewport. So thanks a lot to the developers. Great job, in my opinion. Okay guys, I really hope you liked the video and if you like the channel then subscribe to not miss a future video. Think about supporting me on my Patreon, this will really help. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.